Jesus Today's Gospel and Reflection The Holy Gospel according to St. John chapter 8 verses 31 to 42 Jesus went on to say to the Jews who believed in him If you live in my word you will indeed be my disciples Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free What is freedom? Is it doing what one wishes to do? Freedom is the power to discern what one ought to do. In today's Gospel, we find Jesus appreciating the faith of the Jews as they expressed it. Jesus spoke to them about the kind of freedom which the disciples of Christ should have. True freedom is the power of true self-determination. Jesus designed that all the children of God should live in grace free from sin. The focus of Jesus was on the kingdom of God. The kind of freedom which Jesus will is that one must be free from sin. Freedom and slavery are two separate entities. Those who are in the darkness of sin cannot enjoy the freedom of the children of God. They turn their face away from God. The disciples of Christ are free from sins. The power of true self-determination permits a person to choose what is good and pleasing in the sight of God. Jesus came from the Father to enable everyone to live as the sons and daughters of God. St. Paul reminds us in his letter to the Ephesians chapter 1 verse 6 From eternity he destined us in love to be his sons and daughters through Christ Jesus thus fulfilling his free and generous will. To be a faithful disciple of Christ one must be willing to take up all that leads to a life of grace, saying no to all temptations to sin. It is a firm choice one has to make for the kingdom values of love, peace and joy. Jesus is the true Savior who liberates us from all kinds of evil inclinations. He is the way, the truth and the life. The Jews failed to recognize the salvation which Jesus brought to this world. They did not understand the concept of forgiveness of sins. Our knowledge is true about the Savior who would save us. The question arises, why then do we often fall in sin and become slaves to it? The answer is that we lack the love of God in us. Jesus wants us to move onward to heaven by the right discernment of our lives. We need to have right dispositions by always striving to do good. Let love, joy, peace and forgiveness which the Lord brought to this world may lead us forward and may we follow the path of Jesus in every choice we make. Amen.